ben je een trapmens of een roltrapmens? Groot van Ari Boosman. Stapjes blijven gezet, hoor jongens. Oops, that's supposed to be in English. Well, good luck with the subtitles. <laughs> All the way from the Netherlands. The Dutch Oak is coming. That's it. from the Netherlands. Travel isn't over yet. The rank will go just out. Very classic, classic as fuck all the time. <laughs> Whistling, pissers. You guys finally arrived in Columbus, Ohio after a long but pretty comfortable and smooth Plane ride, so uh, things are going well. We're on our way to the uh, with the shuttle to the car rental company. Take our oversized car with our suitcases and then go to the apartment. Let's go. A bodybuilder's best friend. Oh, gourmet crave German chocolate cupcake. Gourmet Crave Cookies and Cream Cupcake Chocolate Cupcake Strawberry Hey Tulip Cup, that's Dutch oh, I'm just uh, in awe of the, of the desserts <laughs> Thank you very much Fish has been stocked up, shrimps and some white fish Now we're going to go for some chicken it's our favorite extra lean ground turkey breast or are we going to go for the ground chicken breast? Ooh, we're not going to go for this one. Absolutely not. <laughs> Guys, I'm sorry, but if you weren't going to Kroger before, you gotta find another one because the cream of rice is now gone. Even though I took enough rice flour with me, this is quite unbeatable. Dangerous territory. It's smart because they say 70% dark cacao, but it's only the shell, not the inside. But the inside is but we're taking one anyway. For at home. 
upgrading from Powerade to the good old Gatorade. Backstage you drink 200 ml of this with some salt to get vascularity going and some extra hydration for the fullness. One of those backstage secrets guys. My staple with every victory breakfast or for the Dutch people is overwinners on bite. Strawberries combined with blueberries. Right, the card is here. to a kettle at home, an electric kettle. And though, don't worry, we're not gonna waste it. I'm just gonna take this with me home and I'm just gonna leave it in a suitcase to use it from now on. Alrighty guys, we just got back from the grocery store. A big haul, <laughs> as you saw. But uh, once you're in America, you just gotta take advantage of it. But now it's time for the pre-workout meal, my first carb meal of the day. This morning I literally had a Flexpresso shake, which is a protein shake with some caffeine in there and coffee flavor by ESM, some spinach. And then I had the meal you just saw before with either chicken or shrimp and other vegetables. I had that three times and now it's time for the pre-workout meal, aka the victory breakfast meal, which is just a 90 grams of cream of rice or rice flour. We have some strawberries, some blueberries and on top of course delicious whey drip in the flavor white cookies and cream really really um, recommend this and with code wesley you can always get the maximum discount and this time 25 percent on all bestsellers including designer way let's enjoy Right, guys we are here in the pros gym this used to be powerhouse gym i remember because i worked out here five years ago in 2019 when i did the uh, r classic back then it's pretty much still the same i think so uh let's get a great chest workout in nothing too extreme i did legs for the last time yesterday so today is going to be probably two to three reps in reserve for chest you know getting a good pump getting good good blood flow and getting the rhythm back into the day because of the jet lag after this, of course, have a nice post-workout meal, but uh, let's work. I do feel a bit tired from the, from the trip, I feel, but getting a nice pump in fixes a lot of things. Right, next up is the decline version, just at the incline. Now a decline, just hitting the chest at different angles to make sure we hit the muscle completely. Uh, just stimulating every muscle fiber, but not annihilating, just like the 80 said. Heavy. Third set, I'm gonna do three sets per movement. Nothing to failure. If you can see the moment I feel that I'm starting to hit complete failure, at least in the full range of motion, that's when I kind of stop the set because, again, stimulating a muscle is different from going to true failure because you stimulate a lot earlier already. Now we're gonna go to an isolation movement, one of the million pet decks around here. Too light.
Oh. Whew. Energy is starting to decline, so one more set here. Oh man, a few partials to finish it off. Lengthen partials can still cause a stimulus, but with minimal fatigue, especially on an isolation movement. Now it's time for the side delts. Oh, some simple old school tries of movements that you know that simply stimulate the muscle enough is all you need to do. Oh, so one tries to push down, one overhead, one more set of this, maybe two, and we're done. Alright, that's it, again, nothing too intense, stimulate the muscle and get out of here. Time for the post-workout victory meal. Alrighty guys, we are done with the chest workout and now it's time for the post-workout victory meal. And why do I call it a victory meal? Because you are then the victor of your goals, your cravings, whatever you want to achieve. If you know you have a good tasting, healthy and goal oriented post rocket meal standing for you um, and ready for you, then you will be able to uh, adhere way better to the diet and your goals. So the only difference between this and the pre-workout meal is 90 grams of cream of rice was before the workout and 120 is after the workout. So just a bit more carbs, but that's it. That's the only amount of carbs that I eat. And these two meals, the rest of all the meals have no carbs at all. Um, and we're going to see tomorrow. We're going to weigh in tomorrow morning, send a check-in to the coach. And you probably also see him to our live checkup. And then we'll see uh, what the plan is going to be. Tomorrow will be Monday and Friday will be the show. So getting pretty close, but very excited for sure. And uh, after this, I'm going to have just one more meal, but it's going to be protein and vegetables and then right to bed to wake up nice and fresh for tomorrow and thank you very much for watching the video really really appreciate it leave down as many comments as you can down below i'll check them all out i'll try to comment and respond to you as much as i can because i love seeing the feedback that you guys have and if you miss something in this video that you want to see about the behind the scenes of the rl classic do let me know and from now on we will be posting only on this vintage genetics channel because i can't deny the incredible support the international community is always giving me and the dutch people can speak perfectly english anyway but there will be dutch subtitles below regardless anyway once again thank you for watching and don't forget 
to stay golden.